Alright guys, so today we're going to be reviewing MP29 Shockwave, also known as the Destron Laser Wave. Now, uh, I guess we could take a quick look at this box real quick. So, let's take a quick look at this box and move Shockwave out of the way here. Now, personally, I do like these MP boxes. I do think they look very nice. And here is Laser Wave's box. It is... Oops, I just knocked down all my lights just now. Now, it is a... It's a nice box. There's the size. Transformers Masterpiece. Top. There's Shockwave Saluting. Bottom. There's that. You can tell you it also shows the accessories that it comes with. This side. Box. The back shows you Shockwave. Shockwave gun mode, shockwave pointing, shockwave holding two guns, shockwave standing there with two hands, shockwave saluting, shockwave gun mode, shockwave standing there with clear hands, backpack, and him standing next to Sound of the Star Scream. I do own both of them. Alright, let's get down to the video. I'm just gonna move this box out of the way. Now, let's get down to the main thing that uh, everybody's here for. Not the box, the shockwave, yeah. Here is shockwave. Now, this is an MP that I have wanted for a long time. I mean, yes, I own an MP Megatron, but this guy is an MP I've been wanting for a long time. I know he's not the most articulated MP in the world, but he is a one I've been wanting for a very long time. And I'm so happy that I finally got one in my collection. So let's get down to review. Now, first thing first. Let's talk accessories real quick. Now Shockwave does come with a handful of accessories, and I guess uh, his tube is technically an accessory, technically, because it came uh, in, a, in the little baggie, with a, not baggie, like a little thing, with his instructions and a card. Also, he does come with a card. This came in there with the stickers, and uh, so yeah, you could just you have to so you have to plug in the tube right there and right there. Also, if you want a more G1 looking shockwave, you can have the tube turned around like this. If you want more like G1 looking shockwave, there you go. So yeah, if you want to go for something more G1 looking, you can have it like that. Uh, also, he get, he did come with stickers. I chose the more, uh, I don't know, how do you say it? Not the cartoon stickers, I chose the kind of like, I don't know how you say it. I chose those. I chose. I chose those. So yeah, it's, it's options. You know, you can put them on his shoulders. I put. Well, we put them. We put them on his wrists. You can put more on his chest. You know, you can do what you want. You know, your shockwave. You do what you want. Oops, I didn't mean to throw that far. Now, in terms of other accessories, he comes with. He comes with a extra. He comes with this little. He comes with a tiny shockwave. The little tube is actually a little string. Comes with a tiny little shockwave. Let's see if we can focus in on it. You got this tiny shockwave, very little detail, little piece, and shockwave can hold shockwave. Also, I already tried getting shockwave to hold Megatron. Shockwave cannot hold Megatron, and Megatron cannot hold shockwave, sadly. Just a simple little tab, so let's just like that. It's a very snug fit, actually, once you get it on there. Very snug, very nice snug fit. Very nice. Just let me get him to hold it. There we go. So there you go. There's Shockwave holding Shockwave. And I think that looks pretty nice. In terms of other accessories, Shockwave comes with a ton of hands. Oh, there goes Shockwave. Oops. My shockwave, I think, is used. His hips are a little, a little, a little, a little use loose. They're a little loose, so I'll t I'll just say that off the bat real quick. I think my shockwave. Well, I did get them off eBay actually for a pretty good price actually. So that makes sense why hips are a little loose. A little loose. My shockwave. That's fine. Also, uh, if you want, if you want to go for more, I guess first episode appearance, I guess you can just. Take off that hand, toss on the this, this other hand, so you can have them with two, two hands if you want them. So you can have Shockwave with uh, two hands. 
There you go. Two hands for shock. Two hands for shock wave. <clears throat> Tough that off. Get back to the gun. Also, shockwave does come with a saluting hand. So he can you can uh, salute Megatron. So he can salute Megatron if you want him to. Uh, also, the wrists on the hands are on ball joints. So are the saluting hand. So is the salute saluting hands are on ball joints as well. And let's go to his. Uh, let's check out one more thing for the. Also, Shockwave has a nice light up feature. I showed on that one video. There's the light up feature for that hand. And it cuts for a couple seconds. Let's go to the clear set of hands now. There we go. Take out his hands. And he comes with a, a, a clear set right here. So this is. There's this clear set of hands. So if you want a more toy, toy accurate shockwave, yeah, you can go for a set of clear hands and all that. Personally, I I do prefer the the regular kind of stock hands he comes with. I do prefer those, but I but what I do see a lot of is that people have uh, people do have this hand on and this hand on for when he's in robot mode. I can see why. Uh, the hand has the same articulation, same ball joints and all that. It also comes with a saluting, a clear saluting hand as well. So if you want him to be saluting Megatron with his with clear hands, you can salute Megatron with clear hands. And I guess we can give that, and we can check out this thing real quick. But for this, I'm going to turn out the lights. So yeah. Also, yes, he does pick up, he does have light piping. That glows super brightly. Now, it is growing, glowing a lot more brighter on screen than it is in real life, though. I mean, that glows real bright when you have that hand on. So, yeah, there's, there's that. And as you saw, he has light piping in the back of his head. Uh, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm having a hard time here popping off his hand. I do have a hard time popping off his hand sometimes, I'll be honest. So accessories over here. Give me that. Alright. Now let's get down to articulation for Shockwave. Now Shockwave's head here is on a nice ball joint, so he does have a lot of range. And it's also to get a little more articulation out of the head, you can pull it up because it's on a little extra hinge to give him more of a neck if you want. So give him a little more range in that ball jointed head. Uh, his arm has about his arm can go all the way around. It's on a nice, nice ratchet. I mean, you can use this for extra articulation if you want to. That can go. His arm can go that far. Yeah. His arm is also on a swivel. Uh, just about, just a little bit over the normal amount of bend in an arm for transformers. Transformers. His hand's on a ball joint, like I said earlier. Same goes for this arm. It's not. It's actually not limited at all. Well, maybe, maybe if you're, maybe if you don't get the tube wrapped around his arm. But yeah, this arm isn't very limited. So yeah. Uh, to activate his waist swivel and his ab crunch, you must first. You have to kind of just. He's out of the way here. Kind of. I already pull him up. There, go. there go. Pull up, pull up his waist, and you get about that much waist wool. About that much right there. That's all you're really getting out of it. And his ab crunch doesn't like to stay to stay locked, so kind of use his ab crunch, but it does stay locked when you go backwards, though. When you go backwards. It's kind of weird, but hey, it's fine. Yeah. Also, this little panel likes to go up when he's when you're doing the ab crunch. His uh, his legs can kick up, kick about. This panel will move. These panels are these skirt panels will move to accommodate articulation. Of course, can kick out about uh, 
that far, about up that far. But, uh, a bit under the regular amount of bend in a leg for most normal Transformers. Three clicks of tar articulation. One. Okay. One. Two. Three. A good ankle. A really good ankle pivot. Pretty good. This piece does like to pop up on mine. So. Yeah. Also, his legs can kick out about that far to the side. And one click back for moving the leg back. One click. Uh, yeah, but one click. So he's not the most articulated MP in the world, I know that. He's a little limited. But, uh, maybe a little bit of another Transformer. Now, let's get down to transformation. This guy might have one of the easiest MP transformations. I don't know, I might be wrong though. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this down. Bring it down like that. Take his hand, I close his fist, you can do what you want though. Like that. Also, make sure, this is an accessory actually I didn't mention, but uh, if you want, you can pop off, you can have, so, but I have it, I like to leave it on there because it makes it more cartoon accurate. But uh, this is an accessory as well, this is actually, I forgot to pop this off for the video, but this is like a little backpack if you want to make sure if we have more of a cartoon accurate backpack, what sort of stock backpack actually looks like. I don't like that, so I put this on there instead. Yeah, this will also be something else later. So we're gonna also take this piece and bring it up like this. And it's off camera. So we're actually gonna have to lay shockwave down for this. Or it can actually be on camera. Yeah. So we're gonna do. So we're gonna take this and bring this up. So we're gonna bring this up and bring it down. Bring this up bring it down and just bring it back up and then take these arms bring them up bring them up and basically they're gonna plug in to that plug right there plugged in also when you're doing this uh, let's go to the top here they're they're gonna plug in right there and there like that. And just plug it, and this is, this is just gonna come together like that. Come around here to the legs now. Now the legs are a little weird. Turn his leg like this. Have him face like this. Bring it to the side. Cause I'm just doing this for just to be easy. Pop this off and kick out his leg. Bring it down and bring it around. And make sure to bend his knees all the way back. Same goes for the other side. Also, what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna take this, hinge it up, hinge it like that, take this, and bring it all the way up, and like that. Perfect, like that. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Like this, like that. Well, no, not yet. Like that. Take it all the way around. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side like we did last time. He is very simple. Not the most hard complicated transformation. This is Shockwave. He is just in a weird goofy pose. So it's just not the complicated thing. You know. And we're gonna tab these. So these are gonna basically tab together. Align this align it. You're just gonna get it all tabbed together. Come over here. Put these around, bring them back like this, and like this. Squeeze them together, bring those panels, bring this down like that, and bring up the sight, bring this up like that, and tab it in. And now for the final piece of the transformation, we're gonna come down here to his abs, and uh, actually move this out of the way real quick, and just put your nail in there, and bring out the trigger. And bam, here is the gun mode that Shockwave is known for. Now the trigger is kind of sensitive, so just to hold him up for the, for the video. Time to check out that stand I was talking about earlier. That piece I was talking about just a couple seconds ago. This right here. So what we're gonna do is just gonna take it, do it like this, and just do that. There. 
Put it down right here. And just rest it on there. I think there's like a specific spot to put it in. But I just, for the most part, just rest it on there. I know it's like, there's, I think there's a specific spot for you to put it on, but I don't know really, really it is. I don't know where it is, but yeah. Yeah, this gun's bigger than my camera. <laughs> so I don't know if I can get him in the whole shot. That's the best I could do. He's in the shot, though. That's good. Now, what this can do, he does have some light-ups. Also, oh, I'm just going to say this real quick. Uh, the batteries that you need for the one hand are some of these. You need some uh, 303s, 357s. Some of these, uh, I guess that's what I put in his hands. And you just need some uh, double A's for the for the next feature I'm going to show you guys for the video. So if we come here and we can just, yeah, that is a very great light. So let's turn off, let's turn off the lights for this. Just hit it. Yeah, it is very bright. Look at that. Honestly, that is really cool in my opinion. I actually really like how it looks. And uh, so the, also, real quick, there's a switch right here that we can flip. And that's going to do something, a pulsing, like a pulse. Let's look at that real quick. So yeah, now it's going to pulse. That was for a while too. camera just for my camera just stand it it's just loose so yeah trying to hit the lights uh some other things this is actually a really nice thing this it's pretty nice in the hand the only problem is if you just wave them if like the only problem is like sometimes if you do shake them a bit too hard that will happen the waist will come undone and he'll just kind of flop around so you don't want to shake him, because he'll, he'll become undone. For the most part, they did a good job on the gun mode, in my opinion. Really, I like it. Now, here's the thing. There is no on and off switch. It's just either one or the other for the for the laser modes. So, yeah. I'm going to get this guy transformed real quick, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts and opinions. All right. Be right back. Also, a real quick thing for you guys. Uh, uh, this part is a little is a little tough to do. When you're pulling back up his head, just but just give it a nice little. Well, you don't want to, don't yank too hard because you'll pop up his head. But just give it a nice little. Well, actually, I'm gonna pop up his head. But I kind of just grip on the eye and then kind of push it back. Basically, this part's a little hard. Yeah, that's what I did. So yeah, once you hear that click, yeah, then, then it's good. Just wanted to to point that out to you guys real quick. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop back on his head. Also, he's in robot mode, so yeah, so it's up and. It's called um, editing magic. It's called the cut up magic of cutting. Cause I don't edit. I don't know how to edit. Maybe I should learn how to edit. Nah. Also, just to show you guys how to put his backpack on, real quick. If you want to put on his backpack, this is how you do it. So we go back here. We take his backpack, and of course, you want to arrange it like this. Don't close it. You want something. You want it to be like this. Now we're gonna take him, bring up like that, and basically it's gonna basically those pieces are gonna slide over those pieces right there. And you want you don't want to shut it yet. You want to kind of just get it snug on there, so it's nice and snug, and then you can shut it. Not yet. Do you get a click? Now it's on there. Bam. And when you're taking it off, make sure to kind of like when you take it off, I push on this. I don't know. You can do what you want. So yeah. Final thoughts on my shock on shockwave here. Now I don't know if this is a thing for all shockwaves. My final thoughts and opinions on this guy. He's a pretty nice figure. He's he's fun. He's not too complicated, but he is a little limited in terms of posing and articulation and all that. But that's fine for me because I'm not gonna put him in crazy poses. Uh, I don't know if this is for like I don't know. Oh. Sorry, I just cut real quick because of the background noise. My niece was next to my door. I had to get away from my door. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Now, uh, you guys tell me in the comments below if you have this guy. Is your shockwave, like, hips this loose? Is that just me? 
is that just my pro is that just a me problem? Is that just might just be me. I don't know, you guys tell me down below in the comments, well how do I tighten that? But everything else with this guy, he's nice, he has good ratchets, good everything else. Comes with everything you need for Shockwave. So that's really all I got for this review. This is Skyrim Studio, setting off. See you next time. Goodbye.